It's Snubble. Hello, 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 and welcome to Pokemon. Uh, we've set our team up. We are just going in with the Smurgle, the Frogate, for our tag team, and we are going to be raising these four today. The Sphere should be pretty quick to go up. Uh, I think it's going to be the, uh, the Swabaloo. It's going to take the longest. So I think it needs to get to level 42. It's only like level 23 or something right now. But we're going to go for our usual. Our Smurgle's going to come out. If we believe our Smurgle can take the Pokemon, did we buy revives? I don't think we've got revives and full appeals. Shit. Hmm. Well, it just means we're going to get out of there quicker. Which means then we can potentially swap out some of these other Pokemon. Hmm. Yep, yeah, as usual, our Smurgle will try his best. I mean, against this, I don't think I'm really going to succeed. So we'll just use Sport. And if I don't think I'm going to succeed, then I'll swap to Frogate. If Frogate will win the battle. We both get a little bit of experience. Come in. Wobble Gator. It's against the Psychic Metal type. Ground will be very effective. As long as it doesn't know Levitate. I think it's Ground. Or is it Dark I should be using? Just round. Yeah. Cool. We have a little bit of experience again to each. Taylo. I'm hoping after this round, the Taylo of our balls. Right, you're a psychic grass type. I want to use. Crunch, because Crunch will actually help against the Psychic, I think. I think Psychic's weak to Dark. Yes, it is. Cool. Cool, Taylor, 21. What level does Taylor actually evolve? Tail. Uh, psychic again. Tail. -o. Sure, you evolve like in the mid 30s, maybe early 20? Oh, 22. Evolved already then. Great. So all the extra experience is getting now is just wasted. <laughs> I wish there was a way I could take the item off it now. Well, it means one more. So I know we haven't been checking Pokemon off our chat list for a few episodes now. I mean, I know there is a massive collection coming. But as soon as we get those two items from the Battle Frontier, then we can go and get ourselves uh, our... Last two items, so we can get our last two trade Pokemon. And then we're going to do the trades and get more out of the way. So I know that is coming. That'll get down what? Uh, Rhyphorn, Magma, Electabuzz. Two for Porygon. Two for Clampurl. I think what's the. Dusclops. I'm sure there's more. There's at least eight there, then. I don't really be doing it over two parts. We could actually evolve a load now and then evolve a bunch later. Maybe we'll do that. I do know that I need to evolve my... Oh, didn't take him out. I do need to evolve to get my dust clocks. Ready for that. Also, at some point, I need to do an episode where I go down to the, the grooming place. God damn you. And just sit there with a... Clip it, not Clefairy, a Chansey. And just talk to her. You know, get her groomed, forward a day, groom her again, forward a day, groom her again, forward a day, groom her again. Just do that until it's more than enough to evolve her. Then that needs to be done. She needs to get max friendship and then uh, level up once. I think that's pretty much all the difficult ones out of the way. Then it's mostly hatches and Pokemon we haven't evolved. 
But we are close. We are very, very close. Braga, I know, definitely needs to level up a lot more. Because we've got to take on red. I mean, Frolic is the only problem we've got right now who actually stands a chance. Then we've also got... We, we could probably do with leveling up some of the others to help with that battle. But they can be dragged through this again. Same as what I'm doing right now. Looks like that. Taylor's evolving. I know you defeated blah 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 blah, okay. Pokemon. Item. Take. Cool pin. Uh, I think you're in the 30s as well. I could be wrong. I've spelled cool pin wrong. No, yeah, that's quite right. All right, you evolve at level 26. You need a few levels, though. We also need to give that Shadow Clock to the crypt token, then. So, on to the next challenger. Oh, it's Koga. I'm still partially pissed off about the last episode as well. Those who can't remember last week. Uh, we did on the frontier. We got challenged by uh, the head of that department, and she proceeded to send out one Pokemon who instantly put me to sleep and then hit me for two turns. I had no way to respond. Oh no! You're a poison type. I think you're actually resistant to grass types. Then just bring back up my type chart. I should know this type chart by now. I should have memorized it. Huh? Oh, the type chart was on another page. Duh. Uh, poison, you take half damage to grass. Okay, so not worth doing that. But well, weak to ground type, so we can do that. get a lot for that one. But Gulping did. Lind Yarn. Jesus Christ! <laughs> Fuck me! <laughs> it's ridiculous! 13! All I can hope is that next time that we take on the Battle Frontier, and this is a big hope for me, because she gets given a random Pokemon, it was pray she gets something I have a weakness to, uh, well, I can inflict weakness to, but she's going to have moves that are going to be super pressed against me, which has to happen. So at that stage, they have to have moves that are just super effective against you. But if she gets a Pokemon which I've got moves that are super effective, oh, survive, lucky bastard, then there's a good chance I can just come out and go, no. Or it could even be a case of, hey, if I can level up Smurble, Smurble could do the job. 
I mean, at the stage we're at, we could get rid of the mean look. We don't. Eh. There's the Latios and Lotius coming up eventually. We will still need mean look. Unless. Can they escape? Can they escape Vals? I don't remember if they can escape. So if they don't escape, then we can get rid of mean look. The same reason we have mean look is to force them to have to stay and fight me. 17. What? You've got to get to 26, that was it. But I'm off. Earthquake. Oh, survived. Okay, seven levels to go. Crowbat! Ooh, this will be resistant to ground. It's a flying type. Ice. <laughs> Who need mean look? And I, I don't want to escape. I want to freeze your ass off. I want to make it so cold your ass literally falls off. <laughs> Ooh, it survived. And then it used Ply, of course. Yes. It's okay, we'll just get on the next one. It's gotta come down. What goes up must come down, and what goes comes down gets frozen. Talking a bit of D&D &D there, just uh, giving a little hint that I've introduced more demonic items into the campaign. These being like items which have specific effects that you don't have to roll for. They're just like infinite. They're, they're quite useful. However, what they do find is that whenever somebody has one of these items, people seek them out and want them. Uh, Sphere, you could evolve after one battle. Hmm. I don't remember who's next. Who's next? Ah, Bruno. Uh... Does he send out an Onyx first? I don't think it is. How much experience do you need? 6k. No, I don't want to do that. Because when I do the switch, then before I get it's going to take a hit. This is why we send Smurgle out first, because then Smurgle gets some experience, but Smurgle can put them to sleep. So. I was more hoping that it would be the Onyx. If, if, I can't remember if he's got an Onyx. I think he's got a Steelix on four fighting types. 
If he had an Onyx, I'd have kept the Snuggle out. The Snuggle could have dealt with it. But nothing to really harm fighting types with. My frog, I guess. We'll just use Surf. Hitmon Lee. No, we'll stick out for again. I believe in him. I have faith in my Crocagator. Yes, his name has changed from Crocopops. It's Crocagator now. It's no longer the Cocoa Pops thing. It's just it's Alligator Crocodile. The Crocagator. I know, I'm confused. So, sir. Reversal, what's that do? Nice. Eighty three. More Chan. Keep out. Do we have any way to heal? We've got no revives. Oh no. Well, we've got next to no revives, should I say. Oh, we've got no four restars. Oh no. <laughs> oh, I yeah, was right, we used them all. Oh crap. Oh well, it just means we can swap out the tail over. Oh fuck, we're down. Well, uh, he's going to beat me now anyway, so he'll just use uh, he'll use the substitute to take the damage and then he'll hit me. This is how they get away with Focus Punch. Got me. Smuggle! Try your best, mate. Is, is we are a normal type, so if this thing wakes up, we is dead. <laughs> oh, fuck, we's dead. <laughs> we's dead already. If we're lucky, we might be able to take out the Sitmo Champ before it wakes up. But I have a feeling it's going to wake up this turn. Yep, we're dead. It's <laughs> we can't take a hit, never mind the super effective. <laughs> oh well. Oh, we blacked out then. All because I forgot to buy some items. If we'd have bought the restores. Ooh, actually. I should have thought of this. With Smurgle whilst it was asleep. I don't know why I didn't. Revive. <laughs> It's alright if the Swallow goes down, it doesn't matter, because Swallow isn't getting any experience right now. But we ain't fucking losing this fight, I swear to god. Yep, knock him out, I don't care. He's alright. Right, uh, Sir. This'll teach you. 
Oh, fuck. Oh, double fuck. I should revive the Smurble. Oh, fuck off. Fuck off with your full restores. Especially since I don't have any. I get a free hit. Oh, I one shot it. <laughs> Fair enough. No, oh, fuck the teacher. Wasting fucking items. 23. Keep all moves. Give up on learning. Now what I'm thinking here is, it's back. Revive. Use revive on the Smurble. I'm likely to get knocked out now. We swap to Smurgle. Smurgle uses Spore. Smurgle uses Revive. Switch. Mm. Oh, no, not back first. Smurgle uses Spore. So I've got a turn, so I've got some time to actually make my moves. I know this is just dragging the fight out, and I said before how much I hate fights being dragged out, but it's different when it's me. <laughs> Right, restore for alligator. Oh, fuck. Well, Smurgle's out cold again. I might as well have just used Revive on the first turn and not bother with Spore, but, well, Spore gave me a chance to potentially get a move in before my champ woke up. Hopefully this will do not enough. Fuck. Hopefully this doesn't knock me out. It doesn't. Oh, it's made me confused. Well, just go in a circle then. Snuggle, revive. Again, then spore revive the alligator. Right now, the question is: is do I do I swap out to alligator? Because I could swap to alligator. It could stay asleep. It could wake up and hit me. Which then put me back into the same spot. Whereas if I just let the Smurgle take the hit, the Fralligator comes back with no damage. Well, without taking damage on it its turn. And we can do as much damage as possible right now with the Smurgle. Now, potentially, we could knock it out, but we're not knocking it out. We're not going to take that last bit of health off it in this last turn. This is the last turn it's asleep. It's been five turns. Nope. Smurgle, you did well, mate. It's not quite enough. Maybe when you gain a couple more levels. Good, it didn't use bloody four star. Four. Cario. Go oh, fighting type. See, we still don't have any moves on this Pokemon to take out fighting type, so just drowned it. Damn it. That's going to take me down to 54 ish health. 
53, I was close. And I'll get a solid hit in, takes it out. Alright, what's his next Pokemon he's going to send out? Because this might be a revived Smurgle turn again. Oh, Gulpin might just make 26. Harry Armor. Do I want to risk it? Go on, we'll risk it. If it survives and it knocks out my Frogator, we'll just send out one of the other two Pokemon we're not leveling. Use that to revive Smurgle and we'll just go through our cycle again. Come on. Now we can send out Sveal, for instance. Smell. I mean, if we could have just revive for Alligator, that would have done the same thing. Can we just send out for Alligator and just go, yeah, drowned. Mm. But. If I can do it with, with Smurgle, I'd rather it with Smurgle because I want Smurgle to level up. He needs to get to the ability to take out a level 70 on his own, pretty much, because he's going to be taking on ho -Oh. But Little Thicks, he ain't going to do that. As we've seen, he takes one hit and he goes down. So let's revive this frog here. Woke up after one turn. Great. Smuggle survive! Holy crap! Ah, oh, you got it. Alright, it's boring. It's the first time ever Smurgle has survived a hit. Cool, but we beat him. How could we lose? You lost because you shit. But it wasn't enough for us to level up. No. No. Right. He is going to have to... I'm not going to use a rare candy. First up, Smurgle's going to have to come back. Then... I'm going to revive the Sveal. Right, then we want to take this off him. Take. Item. Give. Because it's going to get to like 42 or something. Ugh. There we go. Okay, now I'm going to switch you two. Oh, 
yeah, I was just starting to realise we can't swap straight into bloody Frolligator because then it's going to die immediately. Swap Smurgle first. Smurgle takes the hit. If Smurgle survives, then we spar, obviously. Obviously, he's not going to survive because it's Smurgle, and Smurgle never survives. Then we swap to Frolligator. Frolligator now gets out with a free hit. And against you, I'm thinking Crunch. No, you're a Dark type. Earthquake. Oh, it's faster than me. That's not good. That is really bad. That is really, really, really bad. We survived the hit, but still. Then, I guess. Punch car. I know you're sending that out, but you used ice speed. Oh, not quite. This could be faster than me as well, isn't it? Oh, it's not. I'm faster. I purposely avoided ice speed because I thought you was going to keep an ice type out. But it did go up in level up. He did not. It must be close. No, he's confusion, right? Hmm. Okay. Ew. Uh Blizzard. Either way, I'm gonna faint soon anyway, so it doesn't matter. Oh no. Curse. Rest. Maybe I get lucky in it. What? How? What? How would you do that? That makes zero sense. It lowered its own health and gave me health back. Why? Crunch. Deserve that. There we go, go up and level up. Pound Doom. That's an easy fight. Uh, Surf. Swab. Alu. I have spot that. Correct. Right. Oh, if you give me Pokemon Ghost Stats, I don't want Pokemon Ghost Stats. I want to know what level it evolves. It evolves at level 35. Cool. Got a bit of a gap to go. Surf. It will survive this. This survived by quite a lot. Oh shit. Fuck up. Just gonna have to keep going to surf and hope we can get through it. I should take it enough that it doesn't use the full restore. Ah, oh, it's taking up too much. Ah, payback, we're down.
back. So we can have them two get knocked out. So Swabaloo Keep needs to gain experience and Gulpin needs to be awake in order to evolve. I shouldn't do any damage now, I didn't hit you this turn. Whatever. Spore. And we'll revive the Prowl again. This, this reviving combo is doing well. <laughs> But it's when we get to a point where the alligator gets knocked out in one turn and I can't get the revive in, that's when we have a problem. Okay, let's get a few hits in. Weaken this thing off a bit. <sighs> Next to no damage, of course. What's a weef? You know, I honestly wish now I had Dragon Breath instead of Razor Leaf. Or Psy Six Toss, or any of those moves which do a fixed amount of damage. They would be so much better than Razor Leaf. Yeah, I'm never good at the super effective, but guaranteed 40 damage. That's useful. Surf. We're gonna need some PP at this rate. We're gonna run out of moves before we bloody beat all the Pokemon. So we've made 25, nice. Oh. Huh. This will be an easy one. It's nearly dead. But I don't like the fact oh for fuck's sake, you and your bloody fast moves. It's not enough to take me out though. But I'm getting annoyed with them exerting pressure because that means I'm losing more PP. And I'm running out of PP. I need the PPs. Please, I need the PP. Absol. Can't Absol take me out in one move. I don't trust it. Mm. Where's my Smurble? No, we went with a Perish song. That only really hurts you, mate. I mean, all I have to do is swap Pokemon and you're, you're fucked. And I'm probably going to have to swap Pokemon because I'm running out of moves. I don't have any life. I mean, you could have took me with two quick attacks, probably. Oh, or I could just drown you. That <laughs> <That works. laughs> Then your Perish song means nothing. So blue made 26. It only has to get to, uh, what was it, 32? 35. Got a while to go to get them. Oh, Gulpin is evolving. Actually, uh, doing that. Keep on, please. Thank you. I actually thought you learned swallow and fucking store and such like that level. But okay. Okay, we need to revive again. As always, it's the only thing keeping us alive right now is revives. I want to revive these two Pokemon. I wish we could have... You know what? Sveal only needs one level. Yeah. So I'm going to swap you out first. We can use the Swalot and the Gulpin. No. 
The Swallow and the Swallow, that's it. To get you two battles where you can come out and just do anything. It might get you 2k. Maybe 3k. Steps in the right direction. Either way, the rest of it's going to Swallow because Swallow needs the most experience. Your Intimidate has cut my attack. Okay. I'll tell you what I did forget to do, though. I did forget to put some PP back on my, uh, my Pokemon. So, um, yeah, this may be a problem. Problem here. Also, at this point, they're probably faster than my Smurgle. So, that might also be a problem here. Because it means he can't use his spot. Oh, it's faster than me. Dragon Claw, is that fixed attack? Ugh, that's not fixed. Luckily, it didn't knock me out, but it's not fixed. It's Dragon Breath that's fixed, isn't it? Wait, no, Dragon Rage. Dragon Rage is fixed. Eight forty. Not enough. I don't know if we're actually going to be able to take this down now. Pokemon. Switch to Swallow. So if I switch over to... For Alligator, I'd be wanting to use Ice Beam to hit the... By its, uh, the blind type, but it'll do half damage against the water side of him, which is the problem. Uh, I have very limited moves left. Maybe we get looking it freezes him. It's unlikely, but that did next to no damage. Oliver is now down. Shit. Oh, this is not good. Um, not with the strategy I had planned, anyway. Use on Wawagator. Sveal is going down, so that means we ain't going to get to evolve Sveal this round. We definitely need to get to uh, Smurgle up a few levels. Ooh, the crunch. We also need to remember to bring in the bloody full restores as well. Next time around. Nice little crit. Gosh, I'm, I'm stick it out. I do need to get a revive in. Because if this Frelligator goes down, it's going to ruin our plan to help Swivel a lot. Ooh, that might actually take me. It's a pretty strong move. Wasn't quite enough. Ice Beam. We're faster. You might be some kind of jet fighter dragon, but I'm still the faster Pokemon. Should take it.
I'll get a little gun. Yeah, I'm gonna switch. Switch back to Smurgle. Damn it, it's faster than me! Are all these Pokemon faster than my Smurgle? I'm interested in how fast his Pokemon are, because then we could, if we knew exactly how fast his Pokemon were, they would show me. Then we could get Smurgle to a point where it's faster than all of his Pokemon. No, nope, you don't need to let it take down. Pokemon. What are their speeds? Come on. Or it can hit zero. Down. That's what we never Oh, let's see. The. Ice speed. We are still fastest. Cool. That should be a win. Right, so we managed to evolve two of the Pokemon, and we got two of them close. Closer. Swabaloo's six levels off, and that Sveal is, what, about 3 4k off? Probably get again. Two levels? Two and a half levels? Yep, cool. Anyway, guys, uh, that's the end of today's episode. It was a long one. That was 50 minutes. Uh, hopefully, next time around, it'll be quicker because we won't be switching back and forth as probably getting stronger and stronger. Uh, our next episode, I don't know. We're going to do something. But you'll find out next week. Until then, I'll see you all next time. Goodbye! Who's that Pokemon?